morning guys i'm finally back <laughs> i didn't vlog last week i got quite a bit of training in and the weather was pretty it was pretty decent okay it was amazing but only the days that i was at work it was amazing um the allergies are kicking my butt i'm taking xyazol <laughs> and some nasal spray my daughter's on benadryl ah everything's turning green and everything is blooming and it's crazy and like i worked last four days straight and it's like a different city looking outside because everything is so green and bloomed and my allergies know it. So you can kind of see like the grass is completely green from the last time that you saw it. But I'm going to take the kids to school and I actually have about two and a half hours free. So I want to go to Shawnee Mission Park which is where I do like my hill training rides for like Ironmans. I just like slowly increase throughout like the months that I'm training. But I haven't been out there and I love it. It's hard but you would get like a really good workout. So I'm gonna go try to do that. So I got my bike all packed up. I've got my Tri Serena shorts because I really want to try those outside. And then um, I've got my bike already. I put the different skewer in so hopefully it does not fall out because going down a hill at like 32 miles an hour will not be a good plan. So I've got it all set up. I'm using my older bike because my dad still has June and I just haven't had time to pick it up. So I'm just going to take my older bike out to the park. But it is so nice out. It's almost 60 degrees and it's only 7 a.m. And it's supposed to be like 80 today. And it's also supposed to be like 40 mile an hour winds with like 50 mile an hour gusts. But in the morning again, it's just not that windy yet. So I'm hopeful that I can get out there before it gets like super, super windy. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I brought running shoes just in case like the crosswinds are so bad. You know, I've told you before, like on the dam area, like when you're by the water at the um, lake, it gets, it gets really windy. And we're like actually on the national news, like how windy it is just in like the Midwest area because there's gonna be like a huge snowstorm north of us. And then they're gonna get really bad storms actually just a little bit farther north of us. Um, but yeah, crazy weather. But I'm excited to go get a bike ride in. So I'm going to change my clothes and I am gonna go get this bike ride in. There's like nothing like taking your kid to school in bicycle shorts. Nothing like it. But hey, you gotta make do so we can get to the park and have maximum amount of time to cycle. <laughs> I look like a knucklehead. <laughs> Climbing, but I still felt really good, and it's so sunny out. And you guys can kind of see the wind up here. It's 20 to 30 miles to stay with 40 miles on us. So there's a few times I got a little scared. It's a little afraid my bike might get knocked over in some open spots, but most part it is good. I feel good, and I'm gonna go get the kids. Good morning, guys. I just got home from a run, and it was just just under five miles. I have my race on Saturday. So two days from now, and I just realized packet pickup is today. <laughs> I didn't plan for it. So that could be a problem because tomorrow I work, so I'm not gonna be able to go get it tomorrow and then the race is on Saturday, which I might be able to arrange to pick it up Saturday, but I'm just, I don't wanna drive downtown during rush hour. So long story made short, I need to go to packet pickup because I have my Rock the Parkway half marathon this Saturday and um, I've never done it before. And it's actually a lot of people come from like all over. So it's not just like a Kansas City thing or just the like Kansas City metro area. People come from all over, stay in hotels and actually race this race. So, <laughs> but I'm excited to race it because I've never raced it before and I've heard really good things about it. And one of my friends is actually the race coordinator. Um, he helped me jumpstart um, a run for a firefighter gosh, in 2011 that had passed away in our area. So he's really, really cool. He does really good races. So I was like, I've never done this one of his, so I'm gonna go try it. So, and then before I went running, I'm kind of like in a hurry because they had garage sales and I'll show you. 
I didn't pick up anything cool like triathlon related, but I found like all these clothes for my daughter. Of course, my son gets one shirt. But I got all these clothes for my daughter for $7. However, my son did get this really cool toy. He loves to build things, so. We'll be happy little campers that I multitasked this morning because I was like, I need to get a run in, but I don't have to do like a long run because I have a race this weekend. So I went and got them some toys and clothes, so they will be happy with me. And I have to go pick them up from school in 18 minutes. So I better quit talking and get upstairs and shower, and I will see you guys later. So I'm gonna do a review on these shoes. I have been going back and forth with Running Warehouse since December trying to find a pair of shoes with them. <laughs> And I got the New Balance more, and I heard they were coming out, and they were going to be like this really thick cushion sole, like a Hoka. And I really like my New Balance Beacons. Um, so I thought, I'm really going to like these. These are probably the worst shoe I've tried. Like, new. Like, like that's hit the market. So, like, it's somewhat cushiony, like, from here to here. And then it's like a rock-hard brick. There's, like, no give in this shoe. It... It's horrible. I'm going to do a review. But the New Balance more. Do not waste your money. And then, oops, there goes that one. But inside, I don't know if you guys can see it. It has this like wheeler, weird heel cup. Oh my gosh. If you want blisters, Achilles problems, heel problems, these are the shoes for you. Worst shoe ever. New Balance more. Necessity of the night. working um in a couple hours but <laughs> i have my race tomorrow and then i end up not going to packet pickup because it was like downtown and when i could get there would have been during rush hour and i did not want to get like stuck in traffic downtown so it ended up i read like the race information and i can pick it up the day of the race which is tomorrow and currently it's 37 degrees outside it looks gorgeous but it's 37 and that's going to be the temperature for the race day and I'm not too excited about that because it's it's cold, <laughs> like really cold. I know it's colder because my hair is wet and I just went swimming, but that was a good like, this is what it's going to be like tomorrow because I want to wear shorts and some of my tri Serena stuff. <laughs> but the swim went really well. My shoulders are so sore. I don't think I've swam since October. Yeah, October. <laughs> so my shoulders are sore. So that was a good kind of wake up call, like you need to get back in the pool. And it was awesome because I got there and there's two people in the pool and then by the time I got out, or by the time I had done like a 500, nobody was there. So I had the whole pool for almost 45 minutes. So it was quite fun. But I'm going to make breakfast for the kiddos so they have something to eat when they wake up. And then my husband's just doing some stuff around the house, just fixing things up. And then yeah, I'm going to go to work and then we've got to get ready for this race. Let's go get ready. All right. So I'm home from work and Summer says peekaboo. <laughs> I am home from work and I'm trying to figure out kind of I want to incorporate Tri Serena and I was going to wear my jersey but it's just too dang cold. It's supposed to be 37 tomorrow morning. Maybe even colder right before the race starts. So I've got like my arm warmers on and then I've got like my Tri Serena Siren Luminary top which I'm just going to wear like a cotton t-shirt with these and then just running shorts. And then I have like my Iron Man pouch just to put some gels in, or some uh, chomps in. I think that's what I'm going to wear. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to wear pants, but I just don't like wearing any pants, especially when I'm going faster. That's the game. <laughs> so I think I've got everything put together. running shoes on because it is race day so I have to go get my race shoes on I'm like deciding back and forth between like my Clifton one and my Nepalis I'm like I don't know which one <laughs> I didn't think this through so I think I'm gonna go get the Clifton ones because they seem a little bit lighter so I can't believe it's already race day oh, really. so I am gonna go get the rest of my stuff and then head out my dad is coming with me as well so I'm gonna go get him 
And then we're gonna head down to the Ward Parkway area for the Rock the Parkway Half Marathon. So I finished and I got my medal. I PR'd and I got a time of 143.29. I was excited, I got a really good time. I was actually really warm in my arm warmers and just my shirt so everything worked out perfect. It was a very rolling course for the last like mile and a half of downhill so it was gorgeous. I am frozen and I wanna go home and take a really warm bath because I'm really cold but I'm excited that I got a PR and that hopefully this will be a good sign of the season with maybe PRs for Ironman as well. But I'm gonna head home. guys I am back I'm cleaned up and I'm making soup for dinner and then my son wants watermelon cuz my mom was like I got a watermelon cuz my son has been asking for watermelons I think since January <laughs> so I'm gonna get him some watermelon but the Rock the Parkway um, half marathon it went really well this is actually I would say one of the cooler medals I've actually gotten I mean Disney is amazing don't get me wrong but there's like a the fountain on this side <clears throat> and it looks so cool just being from Kansas City, and then the 10th anniversary. I mean, this is a no kidding medal. It is, it is heavy duty. Um, but yeah, so the race went really well. Um, in the beginning, I felt really good, and I was like, don't go out too fast, and then I felt like I was getting a side stitch, and I thought, just go for it, you know? Like, if you get a side stitch, you get a side stitch, and if it doesn't go well, then you learn your lesson. And you know what, I was like, just go for it. Like, who cares you know and I did I just like kept pushing kept pushing kept pushing and last year at Hospital Hill my time was like 151 I think was the time and this year I got 143 it's a different course it's not as hilly but it's it's just kind of rolling hills but those last few miles like I said I think the last like mile and a half two miles is pretty much just downhill so it went really well. I was really excited to get a PR because it's usually like, oh, I did well, but you know, I hope I hope to do better. And I saw a pacer and it said pacing, you know, 145. And I said, thank you for pacing you because I was following him like the whole time. I had an idea that that was probably like 150, 145. 
So I made sure I didn't lose sight of them. That was like my goal. Don't lose sight of that pacer because if you do, then you're not you're not gonna be on target. And I saw 145 and I passed him and I said thank you and I saw another one and it wasn't too far ahead and I was like, I'm gonna go get that one. So I kept going and kept going and kept going and I got to that second pacer and it was 145 as well. So I don't know if that was like the end of 145 and then the beginning of 145. So I passed the second 145 that was farther ahead. And I was like, okay, you've gotta be like at 144, 145, you know, somewhere, you're somewhere around there, 144, 145, maybe even 143. So I just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing and I just went as fast as I could at the end and I got 143.29. And I, but yeah, it went really well. I really did like the race. It was a lot of fun. Um, I have a similar race that's put on by like the same company um, about three, four weeks. So I'm kind of debating doing it since I'm like, I need to really get on to cycling and I always seem to tear myself up injury wise, but I don't know. I'm kind of back and forth with it. It's um, called Running with the Cows, and it's kind of south of where I live. But I've never done that one as well, and I'm always wanting to do it, and I think I'm off that day from work, so it would be an available one. But considering that one, and then, yeah, I've got all my Ironmans coming up and so many local triathlons and races and runs, so it's going to be busy. And it just kind of kick-started today, so I'm excited. Um, but yeah, so it was really good to have my dad there. Hopefully he got some footage. He said he got some, but not a lot. I mean, it's a faster race and it was really congested at the start finish line. So hopefully I got some for you. But I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend and I am just going to sit and relax and eat for the rest of the day. And I will check in with you guys next weekend. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. And I will see you guys all next week for my next week of training.